Hi, everybody. John McLaughlin. And today on Warrior Wednesday, an update on the Iowa Firearms Coalition Educators Academy. Well, last week on Warrior Wednesday, we were joined by Ed Monk and Adam Winch, two good friends of mine who are high-level trainers, to discuss the IFC Educators Academy, which features 18 scholarships for public or private teachers, school administration, uh, even just school staff. Regardless of what you would do in the uh, school, you are welcome to uh, apply for a scholarship for this training. So I just wanted to take today for a few minutes to update you kind of on the status of things. Uh, number one, why are we doing this? It is because we have identified a need that is not currently being met, and that is showing people the historical problem with active shooters getting into, whether it's a school, a business, a church, uh, the outcome is all the same. If you can't stop it in that first 30 seconds to a minute, you end up most often with double digit death tolls. So we're outlining a curriculum, we're gonna fine tune it, uh, take Ed Monk's work, Adam's work and mine, put it all together and then offer it to schools as a best practice that they can go to their own trainers or we can help facilitate training. So that's kind of the goal right now. Where are we at? Well, right now the response has been overwhelming. We are hearing from both private and Christian schools. We are hearing from uh, everything from school administrators to folks that work in the school system, uh, especially uh, superintendents, principals, and assistant principals. So maybe they're coming just to see what this is all about. Hopefully they'll be coming to actually get some hands-on training. So we'll be looking through those application. And unfortunately, we have to limit to 18. And many people have asked, why just 18? Well, number one, it is because the uh, indoor facility that we're using for this first class, we needed a comfortable air-conditioned space for all the lecture materials, uh, about four to five hours of uh, classroom learning, and the rest on the range. And the range has room for 18 students. So Ed, Adam, and myself will each be taking six students and we'll be shuffling throughout the three-day training so you'll get to train specifically with Ed, then you'll go to Adam, then you'll go to me. So you can kind of pick and choose like, you know, hey, I like the way John taught that or, hey, Adam uh, showed us this. And I think it's something I haven't seen before that works really well. So you get to get the really the best of each individual trainer and take that home with you. All right. What about permit to carry? The reason we're asking for permit to carry is not because we expect you to come to this class as a proficient high level uh, firearm shooter. What we're looking for is, number one, the permit to carry uh, shows us that you've had a background check. So that helps us a little bit on our end on vetting the folks that will be coming to this. Number two, it shows us you've at least taken the basic safety training. The number one thing we're looking for is not pointing a gun at yourself or anybody else in the class and that you understand the four basic, uh, what we call the universal firearm safety rules. All right, what if I don't have a firearm? So... If you do not have a firearm, maybe you've taken some shooting classes but never actually purchased one, what I would encourage you to do is communicate with us or put it on your application that you want to either rent a gun or want some advice prior to the class on purchasing a firearm. So the uh, Crossroad Shooting Sports has several rental firearms. What we need to do is coordinate to make sure you get an appropriate holster to use for the class because they'll rent you a firearm. Uh, there's not holsters for rent. So we'd have to uh, push you in the right direction to get a Glock holster or a SIG 365 holster, whatever uh, particular firearm you'd actually want to use in this class. All right, how do I support this? So the IFC has funded these 18 scholarships. The IFC is a nonprofit organization. So if you have an interest in helping, you think this is a good project, or you want to see it continue in the future, uh, you can certainly contact us here at IFC. We have both the, the Iowa Firearms Coalition. We actually also have our political action committee, but this is IFC itself that's doing this. We're a 501 a C4 nonprofit. So contact us and we'd be happy to accept your support to help uh, further this project. Okay, when will the selections be made? So that's a good question. Right now we actually have more than uh, the 18 spots that are available as far as applications, but I think we'll keep this open for a while and take the 18, but then we'll also be able to communicate with those that didn't get it and make them aware of future training, or they're the ones that really have shown an interest and will want to get this curriculum to them and help them get something going in their own school districts. So we appreciate the support. It's actually been overwhelming more than I thought. I thought we'd really struggle to have to 
get schools to come forward. We've had uh, several school districts that have now uh, quietly allowed uh, armed staff, anywhere from a few to several, and they have expressed interest in sending folks down. We've also had several schools that uh, are interested in arming staff, but want to send somebody and see what this is all about, get the historical perspective from Ed Monk. And so really we've got the whole gamut uh, being covered here and we welcome everybody to apply. And I think it's gonna be an excellent program and we appreciate the wide, uh, widespread support from our IFC followers and members. So just a quick update for you. You can go to our events page. The link will be on this video. It's the Iowa FC, I O W A F C dot org. And then scroll over to our Take Action tab, go down to Events, click it, and there you'll find the application for the Iowa Firearms Coalition Educator Academy. And we'll see 18 ambitious students in August.